Hey, what's happening guys? This is going to be a little bit of a, a different type of video. I had to put in a new antenna for my HF ham radio activities. What you see here in the picture is my old antenna, and that is the Gap Challenger DX, which is about 35 feet tall, and it's a multi-band antenna. I mean, it covers all the bands. Those little tubes you see hanging off the side are different stubs for the different bands, and this is a quite... Uh, complicated engineered antenna that uses internal phasing and tuning stubs and one too many windstorms just broke something in it and it no longer works so it needs to be replaced unfortunately it's a rather expensive antenna around five hundred dollars and I really didn't want to spend that I got this from a guy in the club and it served me well for a while so time for a new antenna Sorry the picture's not as good with this antenna. This is the Hustler 4B TV. And the 4B TV stands for 4-band trapped vertical. The 4 bands are 40, 20, 15, and 10 meters. And it has traps for each one of them. And if you don't know what we're talking about, a trap is basically a little inductor capacitor tuned circuit that causes the antenna to resonate at these particular frequencies so that one antenna can be like basically tricked into performing on different frequencies now this antenna is only 25 feet tall but if you notice that little spider web thing on there that's called a capacitance hat and that increases the capacitance and allows it to behave on different bands here's where it all begins the pipe in the ground that is a four foot stainless steel pipe driven into the ground so there's maybe about 12 to 14 inches sticking out the wires you see are the old radials that the gap required it only required three 25 foot radials this new antenna gonna have a lot more radials this is the base of the antenna that bolts with a couple of u-bolts to that pipe in the ground and the basically the entire um, base of the antenna which is separated from the center conductor acts as part of the ground plane which will be attached to the radials so there's the base installed and you can see the radials I've got um, 16 of them down so far before it really started to snow and it's performing okay with 16 radials but I've got 500 feet of radio wire that I'm gonna put down that's about 150 feet or so right there they're all different lengths there's the antenna on my porch ready to be assembled you can see the, the skinny aluminum tube, it's about an inch and a quarter. And then you see the, the fat tube around the skinny tube, and inside of those are the traps. There's a trap for 15 meters, a trap for 20 meters, and a trap for 10 meters. And then the whole antenna itself is the uh, 40 meter radiator. There are some of the radials as I was making them. It's 14 gauge THHN stranded wire. It's got a quarter inch ring terminal clipped at one end. And I use what's called liquid tape, which is a rubberized compound to seal the other end, which is what the instructions from Hustler say to do. That's the capacitance hat that sits on top of the 20 meter uh, trap. Basically, it's just uh, six little hollow aluminum tubes that mount into a uh, a cast aluminum form it slips down and then it clamps on top the 20 meter trap there's another shot of it installed I know it's not a great picture but you know what it's winter here and I was getting cold you can see as you start looking up from the bottom you can see the three traps the first is the uh, 15 meter trap then the uh, no first is the 10 meter trap then the 15 meter trap and finally the 20 meter trap with the cap hat on top of it so the big question is how does it perform this is from last night and should give you a good idea of how it's performing this is PSK reporter and I was on FT8 the blue reports are 40 meters the yellow reports are 20 meters and I am very close to Pittsburgh Pennsylvania so kind of in the Great Lakes region of the United States. I know you can't see it because it's covered up by all those spots, but as you can see, my furthest away contact was South Africa from the tiny little town of Toronto, Ohio. So I would say it's performing pretty doggone well. 
let's go to the radio and uh, we can use a feature of the IC7300 and sweep the SWR and see just how well it's doing. All right, pardon the handhold. We're going to start out in 40 meters. And uh, if you look down here, we're going to do 13 uh, jumps across the band to check the SWR. Anything under 2.0 is good. Here we go. Oh, I had to hit play first. There we go. Ready? If you look there, you can see that my highest SWR at 7.238 was 1.1, maybe. All right, let's go to 20 meters. And we'll set our step size to 10K. We want 13 bars. And here we go for 20 meters. Our highest at 14,278 is still under 1.5. Next we'll go to 15 meters. Now this one is not going to be as good. I haven't really tuned the 15 meter band because frankly it's dead and I don't use it. So let's see what we got. Yeah, it's off the hook. Let's see if the uh, tuner and the radio will tune it. Well, let's try this again here. Oh, look at that. With the tuner off, we're beautiful. And then finally, we'll try uh, 10 meters. Again, 13 steps, 10K. And here we go for 10 meters. That baby is flat across the board. You can't beat that. I love the IC7300. It just sounds so good. And with that antenna, I'm making great contacts. So here's the antenna on DX Engineering's website. It's the Hustler 4B TV 4 band high frequency vertical antenna. And you get the DX Engineering installation guide with it. Let me tell you, I did not follow the DX Engineering installation guide. I followed the guide from Hustler. This is of course just my opinion and I am a, uh, a big fan of DX Engineering but they would like to sell you some of their parts to go with it. Uh, for instance, the ruggedized reinforced lower tube for $50, the uh, radio plate for $80, the direct coax add-on kit for $30 um, yeah, no thanks I'll just stick with the $200 antenna and you saw the performance of it it's outstanding anyway I know you guys uh, some of you don't like the radio stuff some of you do but it's something I'm interested in so thought I'd share it if you don't like it that's okay I'm sure there'll be a video coming up in a couple days you will like but thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. A big thanks to all the patrons. And if you made it this far, a big thanks to you. That's it. I'm out. 73. I love the IC7300. It just sounds so good. And with that antenna, I'm making great contacts.